everyone, hi Pretty K. So today I'm going to do my update to kind of hair care routine, the products that I use on my hair like all the time because it is, oh I've got the hiccup, so it has been requested by so many of you so I thought I would just do it because I did do one a little while ago but I've kind of changed all the products that I've been using. So I'm just going to do an update to So I'm going to start off with what I kind of use to kind of shampoo and condition and kind of start the basics. Sorry, I've got the hiccups and it's really weird. I don't kind of know how to get rid of them. So I'm just going to have to keep talking on. Okay, so what I use kind of, I use two kinds of <gasps> shampoo and conditioners. I use kind of one that I use, which, one, which I use kind of most of the time. And then I use these from John Frieda, which is the For Repair Full Body Shampoo and <gasps> Conditioner, which I tend to use kind of a bit more special. So for example, if I'm going to an event or on a my towel or just something like that really, and I want my hair to be like especially big. <gasps> um, the reason why I don't use this all the time is because my scalp can, is quite prone to kind of build up, um, which kind of leaves my hair looking a bit dull and like not very good to be honest. So I tend to kind of use this every, <gasps> kind of every few days because I feel that my hair is better with more kind of like a cleansing shampoo most of the time. But yeah, but I really like these and they are really good for kind of creating bold <gasps> you. Whenever I use them, I notice that my hair is a lot bigger. It's really easy to create volume in it, so I really, really recommend them. And then the shampoo that I tend to use most of the time, um, like with my hair, is this Head and Shoulders Cool Menthol. <gasps> and I know it's not the most glamorous of shampoos that you can use, but I really like it because it kind of helps, um, it just makes your scalp feel really clean and really tingly. That's like the, the menthol effect. And it's just a really, really nice kind of uh, um, shampoo. I really like using it because I like the feeling of feeling like my hair is really, really clean. It stops my hair from getting greasy too quickly because I have got kind of quite greasy hair. So this kind of helps me go two to three days without kind of washing it, which is quite good when I've got such long hair. And it's just a really, really nice product. I've also got a head and shoulders conditioner, which is also like a nice product too, because it means that I can put it kind of like, sometimes I get quite knotty hair like here. So I tend to kind of put it here, it doesn't mean that like the roots get greasy, right? I feel like <gasps> that's so that's really good. So that's the kind of shampoo and conditioners that I use. Um definitely recommend them. They make my hair really shiny and really, really soft. So that's kind of like why I use them. And then what I tend to do is my hair just get quite knotty. <gasps> um also my hair I used to kind of not use that much heat on it because I was really good with it actually. And if I was ever at home my like wash my hair and I'd let it dry just naturally but obviously now that I've got my enrapture heated rollers which I do use like I tend to use that all, all the time and um, my hair I have noticed that my hair is kind of not in as good condition as what it used to be so I feel that I have to add like a little bit extra to kind of make up for the fact that I use heat on it and I like to use a heat and uh, not heat mask a hair mask about once a week on my hair to give it just a bit of a special treat and I really like this one from <gasps> Davings, um, and it's like for drying brittle hair and it's got olive butter in and it's kind of really, really thick and creamy. I had to just kind of lather this on to kind of like the length of my hair and I leave it on for about 20 minutes like I usually do I'm having a bath or something and my hair always kind of comes out really, really nice and shiny and soft. I think you can buy this from places like Beauty Bay and kind of sell on spend stuff but I really, really like it and I just tend to, it doesn't really matter kind of which one, that's just the mask I'm using at the moment. I've also got the John Frieda Intensive Mask, which is okay, but I do like to buy a, like a mask to put on my hair about once a week, I just kind of feel that it really helps, I mean you don't have to, like sometimes what I tend to do is put just normal conditioner on and then just leave it for about 20 minutes and that kind of does a good job too, so I just tend to kind of give it a bit of an intensive treatment about once a week. So once I come out of the shower, I use a few kind of styling treatments on it. And one that I use at my moment is the L'Oreal Mythic Oil. I did used to use Moroccan Oil, which, don't get me wrong, is a fabulous product. I really like it. But this is just a product that I've been using at the moment because I haven't got much Moroccan Oil left. <gasps> I just put this on my damp hair. I use a couple of pumps. It smells really, really nice. And I've noticed that my hair has been a lot shinier since I started using it. I think that it might have even made my hair shinier than what the Moroccan Oil did, which is, you know, quite out there. And it's... <gasps> Obviously, it's a lot cheaper too, so I really... Okay, what I also use from the John Frieda for repair range is the Heat Activated Styling Spray. I feel that when I use this on my damp hair, it kind of helps. The style will last a lot, lot longer, so this is what I use also kind of 
untangle dried hair um, and I feel that it kind of helps keep my curls in um, and it's also kind of a heat protectant so I also use that too to kind of help protect my hair and then also I use this kind of every now and then but to kind of create big hair I also use the um, root lift foam from the full repair range from John Freer and I feel that I just put this in a root and it makes my hair like a lot lot bigger um, again, I don't use this like all the time because um, I feel that my hair before you get a bit built up. But I use it every now and then, and it's a really nice product. So that's kind of what I use when <gasps> I've got really, really big hair. If you kind of wanted to know, and then also kind of hairspray wise, I use L'Oreal Elna hairspray. It's probably one of the best hairsprays that will be used. I have to use quite a lot of hairspray when I'm doing my hair. <gasps> And this doesn't kind of make it crispy or stitchy or anything like that. You don't really feel like you have hairspray in. But it <gasps> makes sure that you can style last ages. So it's a really, really good hairspray. So definitely would recommend taking that up. I think it's like a little bit more expensive <gasps> than the usual hairsprays. But it's completely worth it. And then finally, just the kind of products I use. <gasps> a um, tangle teaser to kind of brush my hair. This is the kind of brush that I use. And it creates such a difference. It doesn't... <gasps> Make, it kind of makes brushing up knots a lot easier. Um, yeah, I, you can use it on kind of wet hair and <gasps> dry hair, so it's really, really good. So I've got that. And then to back home, I just use this little kind of comb here from Super, <gasps> which I think is about one pound something. It might even be cheaper than that. But it's really cheap, and that's what I use to back <gasps> comb my hair. And then obviously, you all know from my styling video that I use the Enrapture heated rollers to kind of create <gasps> my hair into curls and I just use like a normal kind of mark for hair dryer so nothing kind of too special there so that's it kind of what I use on my hair so I hope you've enjoyed it and you found it useful to all you guys have requested this video remember if you've got any requests at all then please let me know thanks for watching and I'll see you soon